Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> there are people out in the hallways and in the staircase and wow <laughs> that's all I can say is wow before we start our program I'd like to take a moment of silence to remember all of the gentlemen and the women for whom we are celebrating this house without them our country would not be safe and secure so please a moment of silence going forward we have nine beautiful bedrooms and our community center and we were able to fully furnish those bedrooms the gentlemen and women who move into this building will have almost everything they need to start off we have some very special donors that either raised amongst a group or individually uh, donated five thousand dollars or more per unit so these nine rooms plus the community center are all dedicated to these people or to someone in their memory. Um, you'll notice that there is a green plaque outside every room and I just want to say a quick thank you to the Dartmouth Friends of the Elderly, TD Bank, Friends and Extended Family of William O'Connor, Albright Electric Incorporated, the Community Foundation of Southeastern Mass, uh, Bank Five, um, where am I? The Dartmouth Lions, and I know Wayne is here. See, Wayne, I remembered. Wherever you are. <laughs> Mr. Dennis Gallagher, and Mrs. William O'Connor, and her sons Kevin and Matt. Also, Ms. Carol Flack, in memory of her brother. Again, thank you to all of you. Without your generous donations, these gentlemen wouldn't have what they're going to walk into. And I think when you look at the rooms, you'll see what we're talking about. I also want to take a quick moment to thank some other people who helped to furnish this house. The Pasca Mansett Quilters. Every bedroom has a handmade quilt. These women quilted for several years, almost as long as we are, have been in the process of building. Each room has a quilt and they are beautiful, so please take time to look at them. The Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries of Dartmouth. Uh, Mr. Cavanaugh and Kathy, thank you so much. Everyone got a beautiful, my staff wanted to take naps in the chairs, okay, <laughs> Kathy, they were that beautiful. So again, thank you so much. Butler Furniture, they donated the um, living room set here, as well as gave us a wonderful price and furnished the entire house. And the Dartmouth Council on Aging Needleworkers, they did lap, uh, lap blankets. They're all wrapped up and put on the recliners so everybody has a lap blanket. I can't mention every single person who has given us things. I, I, we'd be here for three days. But needless to say, this community has truly come together and has made this work. And I'm, I'm just so excited about that. You'll also notice over the fireplace we have what we call a perpetual plaque. And on that perpetual plaque are names of people, corporations, anonymous donors, um, that did give also and that will continue to grow whenever we do get and we still are getting donations so we say thank you to everyone every penny helped on behalf of partners in housing inc we couldn't be more honored to have matthew o'connor say a few words matthew is the son of mr o'connor who was one of the gentlemen that this house is named after he has worked hard um, and i know it's with great pleasure that i introduce to you matthew o'connor i will continue to be coming i just before I uh, briefly bore you, I uh, just wanted to take a quick moment and say that I want to Connie's thanks so many people, but I really want to thank her for being, you know, the you know the linchpin, the captain of the ship, the cornerstone, everything in getting this done. You know, we had so many people from, you know, we mentioned the Women's Institute for Housing and Economic Development. You know, people like Carl involved, who my you know my dad knew very well, and um, but really, you know, I don't. I don't think um, I've really gotten the opportunity to thank you for everything that you've done. So just a brief round of applause for Connie. <laughs> for those of you who know, my dad was a Vietnam veteran. He served in the, uh, the Siege of Quezon. He was there. So for uh, history buffs, you know, that's, uh, that was an important battle in the uh, Vietnam War. And telling us a story about a time when the ammo dump got hit. 
and they were running short on gas masks, so he was sharing a gas mask with the dog, because everything blew up with tear gas and everything, you name it, so. Um, so, you know, in closing, I'd just like to say that I think, you know, his spirit of helping others really carried on to what he did with the Dartmouth Housing Authority, and, you know, I like to think that, you know, and that's both himself and uh, the gentleman who I didn't know uh, as well, but I know uh, that they both were very committed to community. Himself and Charlie Sisson, I, you know, I think that uh, it's, it's a wonderful that uh, I'm privileged to be able to speak here. So on behalf of you know, myself, my mom, my brother, all my, my family, uh, both immediate and extended, who contributed to this and everybody who did, you know, we thank you so much. I'm privileged to be able to serve on the board and help bring what I know is uh, such such an important uh, element of uh, the community, which is bringing a, you know affordable housing for veterans here. Uh, and I know my dad's looking down on us and is very happy today. So, thank you. Sure you take a few minutes to walk through the rooms. Again, remember that every room has been dedicated by loving people people who have made dedications and memories of people that they've lost, people they've loved. And we've all been there. We've all lost people who have served us, who mean something to us, and we thank them. I want to thank my staff, because I didn't do that before. Without you guys, you know what we went through this past week. And I just want to say thank you. I couldn't ask for a better staff. Again, when you walk through the rooms, Take the time, they've all been um, this stuff in the cabinets, the guys are coming into, you know, flatware, dishware, glasses. Pots and pans are coming, I just ran out of energy yesterday. Um, but everything has been, just about everything has been put there. So these guys literally, some of them are homeless who are coming in here, some of them are coming out of their cars to live here. I can't be prouder, I really can't be. This has been a long, long process. It's been eight years from start to finish. It's been 13 months since the day we broke ground on 9-11 last year, and we can finally call this a home. This morning, my daughter called Housing Authority Directors Modern Mother Day Teresa's. In Massachusetts and across the country, many, many, many of us are so passionate about what we do. We really are passionate. It's our mission to create safe, sanitary, and affordable housing for the people who need it. Be they the veterans, the disabled, the families who are caught in a crack, literally, and our veterans who served our country and some have nowhere to go. Hopefully, we today, the Dartmouth Housing Authority and my fellow boards have planted a seed that will continue to grow in our community and hopefully people will take notice and create some of their own.